Okay, hello everyone. So, sa video po na ito, ituturo ko po sa inyo kung paano kunin ang discriminant ng quadratic equation. Okay, so ang formula na ginagamit sa discriminant is b square minus 4ac. Okay, so sa pagkuha ng discriminant ng quadratic equations, meron tayo mga value na makukuha ng negative, positive, and zero discriminant. So, malalaman okay. natin lahat yan sa video na to. Okay, how to determine the discriminant of quadratic equation? Okay, first, i-recall muna natin kung ano ang standard form ng quadratic equation. So, it is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Okay, and ang quadratic formula na ginagamit natin para makuha ang roots ng quadratic equation is uh, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And, ang discriminant is yung nasa loob ng radical sign ng quadratic formula, which is b square minus 4ac. Okay. So, example number 1. x square plus 6x plus 9 equals 0. So, paano kunin ang discriminant? Okay. So, first step is write the equation into standard form. So, kailangan nakaayos siya into the form of ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. Okay, so in this situation, sa so example number 1, okay, nakaayos na siya, naka-standard form na ang equation natin, which is x square plus 6x plus 9 equals 0. Okay, then the next step is identify natin kung ano yung a, b, and c. Okay, a, b, and c. Ang a natin is 1, ang b natin is 6, ang c is 9. Okay, and then the next step is isa-substitute natin yung values ng a, b, and c doon sa formula ng discriminant na b square minus 4ac. Okay, so this is the solution. b square minus 4ac, ang value ng b is 6. Ang value ng a is 1, ang value ng c is 9. So, therefore, we have 6 square minus 4 times 1 times 9. Okay, sinubstitute lang natin yung mga value ng ABC doon sa formula na B square minus 4AC. Okay, 6 square is 36 and ne uh, negative 4 times 1 times 9 is 36. Okay, now 36 minus 36 equals 0. Therefore, ang discriminant natin ay 0. Okay, example number 2, we have 2x square minus 7x equals negative 9. Okay, first step is i-write natin yung equations sa standard form. Sa form na ax square plus bx plus c equals c. Okay, so 2x square minus 7x equals negative 9. Um, we transpose negative 9 to the left side. So, it becomes 2x squared minus 7x plus 9 equals 0. Okay, so the next step is, i-identify natin yung a, b, at saka c. Okay, so in this example, ang a natin ay 2, ang b is negative 7, c is positive 9. Okay, and then the next step is isa-substitute natin yung values ng a, b, and c doon sa formula ng discriminant which is b square minus 4ac. So, this is the solution, b square minus 4ac. Substitute natin ang value ng b square or b is negative 7, ang a is 2, ang c is 9. So, it becomes negative 7 square minus 4 times 2 times 9. Okay, susundan lang natin yung formula ng discriminant. Okay, so negative 7 square is 49 and then negative 4 times 2 times 9 is 72. 49 minus 72, the answer is negative 23. Therefore, ang discriminant natin dito is negative 23 or negative discriminant which is negative 23.
Okay, next, let's have another example. We have x squared minus 4x equals 12. Again, first step natin, uh, write natin siya sa standard form. So, it becomes ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Yan yung standard form. Then, x squared minus 4x equals 12. It becomes x squared minus 4x minus 12 equals 0. Okay, inequate natin sa 0. Okay, the next step, identify natin yung A, yung B, at saka yung C. Okay, A is 1, B is negative 4, C is negative 12. And then, the next step is isa-substitute natin yung values ng A, B, and C doon sa formula na B square minus 4AC. Okay, solution, B square minus 4AC, substitute, ang value ng B is negative 4, so that's why we have negative 4 is square. Then, write 4. Ang value ng A is 1. Ang value ng C is negative 12. Okay, next. Negative 4 is square is positive 16. Okay, so negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. Okay, next. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 12 is positive 48. And then, 16 plus 48 is 64. Okay, we have positive 64. And that is our discriminant. Positive 64. Okay. So, discriminants natin, again, B square minus 4AC, yan yung formula natin. So, makukuha natin values either negative, positive, or zero. Okay, D is equal to zero. Or discriminant is equal to 0. Um, discriminant is greater than 0. Pag sinabi natin greater than 0, for example, we have 1, one 9, 12, 16, 20, 59, 64, and so on. Okay? Basta positive numbers. Okay? Then next, D is less than 0. So, meaning... Um, example, we have negative 3, negative 4, negative 49, negative 86, negative 92, okay, or negative numbers. And, i-recall natin ang perfect square. Pag sinabi natin perfect square, okay, ito yung example, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81. So, yun yung mga perfect square. Okay, so sa pagkuha ng discriminant or pag nakuha na natin yung discriminant, okay, malalaman na natin kung ano yung nature of the roots ng quadratic equation natin. Okay, so yun yung purpose ng discriminant para malaman kung ano yung nature ng roots ng quadratic equation. Okay, let's say for example, ang discriminant na nakuha is 0. Pag ang discriminant is 0, Ang nature ng roots ay real, rational, and equal. Okay? Next, kapag ang discriminant is negative 23, for example, or negative ang discriminant, okay, wherein we have d less than 0, ang nature ng roots na makukuha natin sa quadratic equation natin ay imaginary or not real. Okay, so next, for example, um, 64. 64 is positive. Okay? Kapag positive ang discriminant natin, or D is greater than 0, perfect square. Okay? 64 is perfect square. Ang nature ng rules na makukuha natin ay real, rational, and unequal. Okay? So, next. Ang discriminant natin ay 42, which is positive. Okay, this is, um, discriminant is greater than 0, pero hindi siya perfect square. But not perfect square. So, ang nature ng roots na makukuha natin ay real, irrational, and unequal. So, that's all for now. So, ito yung guide natin, roots, or malaman natin kung ano ang nature ng roots ng quadratic equations. Okay, true discriminants. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit my YouTube channel, Matish, and then click playlist. Okay, so please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.